This week is Mike Hodge, who's finishing up our series on SAP basics on the topic of financials. And today's topic is a continuation of last week, Cost Accounting Part 2. Remember to save the dates and uh, register for the SAP Business One Summit, which is September 15th to 17th this year, just outside of Chicago, Illinois. So without any further announcements from me, I'll turn this uh, session over to Mike Hodge, be our presenter today, Mike. The controls are on their way to you. All right, thank you. Good morning, everyone, or afternoon, depending upon where you are. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, today, I'm doing uh, part two, which is the processing and reporting on cost accounting. I will start just to briefly uh, recap what we talked about last week uh, so that it's understanding. I've also, uh, different from last week, I have a new database that is specifically geared and laid out for cost accounting. And so it may make some more sense as we look at this one uh, and follow through. So the first thing I'm going to review will be the recap of the general settings and chart of accounts, how dimensions are set up, cost centers, distribution rules, the table of cost center distribution rules bring the cost hierarchy layout, which is like a report layout, and uh, the SAP budget with cost accounting. Uh, then I will go through uh, some cost accounting processing using AR, AP, and inventory transactions with dimensions. We'll show you the form settings that are used. I'll also show you the advantage of some formatted searches to auto-populate the data to help for time entry, uh, keying in the entry and getting the information right. I'll go through the AR transactions. I'll show you how to correct the transaction if the dim dimensions are not provided in the original invoice. And then I'll follow up with some AP transactions. We'll look at service and an AP item and those who have been with me before, an AP expense item is a item in the item master. It's non-inventory that's keyed directly to a specific expense account. And let's see, I'll also go through some inventory transactions and some inventory reevaluations that have effects on the P&L and therefore can also be included in cost 